with most of us either furloughed or working from home and kids spending most of the day doing online classes, many of us are finding that we're struggling with the amount of time we're spending with digital screens. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips for how you can help to resolve issues like headaches, eye strain, tired eyes, or maybe even sore and itchy eyes. So I'm gonna break the video down into three sections. The first section is gonna deal with general advice for everybody. The second section is gonna be specifically for glasses wearers who wear single focus lenses. And then thirdly, we're gonna address people who wear very focals or bifocal lenses. So here's some general advice on how you can keep your eyes more comfortable throughout the day. Now, first of all, before I begin, anybody who's struggling and getting things like headaches, symptoms like sore or tired eyes, if you've not had an eye test in the last couple of years, you should definitely book one with your optician. But assuming that everything's nice and healthy with your eyes, there are quite a lot of demands that spending time with digital screens puts on our eyes, even the most healthy ones. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have a problem, it's that our eyes weren't really designed for staring at digital screens. So here's why. First of all, when we focus up close, there are tiny little muscles in our eyes, they're called ciliary muscles. And what they do is they stretch the lens in our eye and they change the shape so that we can refocus at this distance. But that refocusing, especially if you're multitasking and you're, say for example, watching TV and reading your phone, whenever we switch distances, those ciliary muscles get slightly tired. And even more so, if we're constantly focusing up close, those muscles are constantly being flexed. And if you imagine tensing any muscle for a period of time, that's gonna cause some tiredness. That's basically what we're doing to our eyes when we look at a digital screen for too long. So a general rule of thumb is the 20-20-20 rule, where we look at an object 20 feet away for 20 seconds every 20 minutes. Secondly, Digital screens emit a lot of what we call blue light. There's quite a lot of controversy surrounding blue light because it hasn't been proven exactly what the medical effects are on our eyes. We know that overexposure to blue light can cause headaches, tired eyes, and it can affect our sleep patterns. And you tend to be overexposed to blue light if you spend more than three or four hours a day looking at digital screens, which I think is gonna account for 99% of us, especially at the moment. And that's because digital displays tend to emit a lot of blue light. So what is blue light? Well, it's part of the visible spectrum of light that's very close to UV. And I think everyone knows that UV is really harmful to our eyes. Blue light sits right next to UV. And for that reason, many people have hypothesized that it might have harmful effects on our eyes, just like UV does. So there are different ways of reducing your blue light exposure. Most modern digital devices have a special filter. There's usually a button that you can press that will actually make the screen go slightly yellow. And the reason that it goes slightly yellow is because it's cutting out the blue. Furthermore, you can actually get a blue light filter on your glasses. I certainly noticed a difference when I got mine. I've been wearing blue filter lenses for probably about five years now. In the early days when I changed to having it, I did notice an improvement in my sleep patterns and a reduction in the amount of headaches that I got. Even if you don't wear prescription glasses, you can get glasses with a blue light filter built in and those have proved to be very popular at the moment. I'll put a link in the description to our online store where we actually offer some of our most popular frames with blue control lenses included free of charge. So this next section is specifically for glasses wearers. If you wear single vision glasses, that means that your glasses are optimized primarily for distance vision. It turns out that our modern lifestyles involve a lot of close-up focusing because A, we tend to spend a lot of time with computers. Most jobs involve a lot of computer work nowadays, but also we're looking at things like our watch, maybe a smart watch that we would use more frequently than a regular watch. And we're also checking our phone all the time as well. And that's why one of the best types of lenses that I recommend for my clients are called smart life lenses. Not only are they optimized for distance vision, they're also optimized for close-up vision as well. I personally wear smart life lenses and I have to say they are the best lenses I've ever had. Not only the clearest in terms of my general vision, but the most comfortable when I'm focusing up close. And they do cost quite a bit more than a basic set of lenses. But if you're a glasses wearer, especially if you wear your glasses all the time, I think it's definitely worth the investment. When you think you're gonna wear a pair of glasses for the next two, three years, think how many hours you're actually gonna spend on your phone wearing those glasses. If you're anything like me, it's 100% worth it. So finally, multifocal wearers. If you're someone who wears bifocals, you really are gonna struggle with computer screens. And the reason is that bifocals are set for two focus points, which is typically set for far distance and close up. Now, a, a typical reading distance is around about here, but most people would use a laptop about here and a desktop computer, maybe even further than that. So bifocals don't have any point of the lens that's set for that kind of working distance. Now, very focal wearers 
do have a section of the glasses that's set for that intermediate vision. And that's one of the main reasons why you should look at varifocals rather than bifocals. But even varifocals are not ideal for screen work. And the reason is because most desktop computers in particular are set at eye level. And the intermediate section of your varifocals is below your eye level. That means we have to adjust our head to focus at intermediate distances. Now that's fantastic for multitasking. If you need to go check your computer, you can do that without having to swap glasses. And that's what people love about very focal lenses. But if you're gonna do that for an hour, much less two, three, or even eight hours a day, like many people spend on digital screens, they're just not gonna cut it. So that's why you can get something called office lenses. And if you're a bifocal or a very focal wearer, these are perfect for you. Because what they do is they place that intermediate zone of vision right in front of your eyes meaning that you don't have to adjust your head when you're working on a computer screen. That can really reduce tension in your neck, your back and your shoulders. But office lenses are quite versatile because they also allow you to read up close and they even allow you to see up to four meters away. If you know that your day is gonna be spent in the office or on the computer at home, you can wear your office glasses all day and at the end of the day, your eyes will be nice and relaxed because the glasses have done the work for you. The vast majority of my clients who wear very focals or bifocals nowadays I really recommend a set of office glasses to complement them. If you give them a try, you'll thank me, I promise. Hopefully the advice I've given is gonna solve the problems that you're having spending all day on digital screens. If you've got any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments below. I love answering your questions, so I'm more than happy to go into as much detail as you need. Please also like this video, a lot of work goes into producing it for you, and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye bye.